Well, good morning, everyone. Um, you're here with Patty Latch Daigle and Matt Randall. And today we want to kind of just go over a few things about the hidden powers of molecular hydrogen or how hydrogen helps your body. Um, so let's go start. Um, I'll let Matt tell you a little bit him, about himself and then I'll tell you a little bit about me. Okay. Hit it, Matt. Thank you, Patty. I'm really glad to be here this morning. This is so much fun. Uh, and I love, I honestly love talking with people who love nutrition and health in general. Uh, so my background is I spent the past 40 years in health and fitness, studying uh, nutrition as well as fitness. And uh, gosh, uh, what, what can I tell you about 40 years of, of education and training? There's just so much involved. What I can tell you is that our country here has not what you would call a healthcare system. Everybody wants to call it a healthcare system. It's a, actually a disease management system. And unless you understand proper nutrition and get a little bit of exercise, uh, the alternative is simply to be on medication for the rest of your life until they put you in the grave. And that's what Patty and I are not really interested in. Not uh, at all. No, we'd rather, we'd rather live life to its fullest. Um, and longevity is just a piece of that. But it's no fun living long if you're not living healthy. And so that's what we want to talk about this morning. Well said. And my passion, uh, since I've turned 65, um, is DNA health. And what that is, is checking your body and how your DNA is responding to the nutrition that you put into it. Um, and your DNA controls your lifespan and your health span. And you want to know and you want to live a healthy life, or at least I hope you do. And it's when you learn about the DNA and uh, the little caps on the end, which are called the telomeres, which control your healthy living and your aging, it's all about the DNA and it's what you know about your DNA that's going to keep you healthy, along with uh, what Matt does um, and knowing the nutrition that you're putting into your body and how it's helping you and getting that exercise in every day, no matter what it is. 20 to 30 minutes of exercise, whether it's standing up at your counter, leaning up against the wall and moving, you just got to move that body to get those toxins moving. So here we go. We're going to talk a little bit today about uh, molecular hydrogen and how it affects your body. Um, so molecular hydrogen has been used in many different countries uh, around the world for healing and wellness. Its benefits have been studied scientifically since 1520, believe it or not. It's been around for a long time. And of course, H2 hydrogen is, on the, is an element on the periodic table of uh, scientific elements. So um, if you weren't real good at science um, in school, we're going to give you a little bit of education on that one. And go ahead, Matt, a little bit what you know about it. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah. Hydrogen is, uh, I, I can't possibly say enough about it because it really, it literally has changed my life. It's changed my world. Uh, but like Patty says, it's been well studied for at least 70 years or more in Europe, very um, scientifically, uh, as Patty says, it goes back to 1520. Uh, but in the past 70 years, it's been studied in Europe and there are now almost a thousand peer reviewed studies on on the benefits of hydrogen and we want to talk a little bit about what it is what it does in the body uh, patty looks at things from the dna perspective i look at things from the nutrition perspective and when you put it all together it's really a great formula for living your best life so that was very well said so um okay so how do you get the hydrogen into your body? We'll start with that. Well, there's a couple of different ways. What we like best is these little bottles that actually create hydrogen for you. There's a little button here and you hold the button and it starts an ultraviolet like Matt did and the bubbles start to come up. If you want to hold it up a little sure, bit, maybe you can, can see, see the see bubbles. That. It's wicked cool. All right, there, there, that shows you I'm from New England. <laughs> <laughs> I use I use wicked. <laughs> there you go. And I'm getting mine started. But anyway, um, these bottles are uh, 
give you the hydrogen that you need. So let me jump back a little bit. Um, and it's part of my studies I did. Hydrogen and oxygen are needed as your transport system in your body for transporting the nutrition values through your body. If it can't collect the right amount of hydrogen and oxygen it needs, um, you're just not going to get your nutrition to your brain, to your organs, to your, your hands, your feet, and it's going to start causing your body some, some uh, health issues. Um, so that's one way. The other way is tablet form. And we've got two different tablets that we have access to. And um, actually, yeah, two is fine. We'll start with these. Uh, one is uh, short lasting, which is three to four hours, kind of like your ibuprofen. You've got to take it every three to four hours, depending on what you're doing. If you're going to go work out, you need it before and after your workout. And Matt can tell you more well, about that as we're going on. If I, yeah, if I can add in there, yeah. this was actually designed for athletes. It's, it's a tablet um, that was designed as a, as a short-term pre-workout and post-workout regimen for athletes. And then we found that it just works for everybody for all sorts of uh, issues that hydrogen uh, uh, can, can help with. But, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. So how does this work as a tablet? Because everybody knows hydrogen is a gas, right? Uh, it basically, the patented ingredients in it interact with your stomach acid to release hydrogen inside your system, which makes it probably the most, uh, the most readily available, most easily absorbed and quickest form of hydrogen you can get. So there's, there's that part. And taking it with a lot of water helps to get that transportation system working a little bit better. Um, henceforth, the hydrogen water. Yep. So um, now, can we ahead. can we talk about the other one sure, before sure. We, before we leave that? Yep. This one happens to be more of a slow release. So you've you've heard of slow release tablets. This is a capsule. Uh, it's just a different formulation that slow releases for the average person. Maybe not for the athlete or the person who's going to do uh, going to take it two or three times a day. So that's ju that's just the difference between the two. Well, and what we like about these, if you've not heard it in form sports certification. It's a third-party testing uh, company that verifies and clarifies that your nutrition is clean, that it is not, there's nothing illegal or enhancing for any caliber of any athlete, whether he's in high school, he or she, uh, or uh, any sports um, level, including your um, Olympic uh, Olympiads. Yeah. They cannot get in trouble for taking any of this because it all is tested and we know it's safe for right. them. Neither of these will be will show up as banned substances um, because they're completely natural. Uh, now, I don't know if you heard a couple of beeps just a moment ago. It means that my water bottle is finished its cycle. And ah, there we go. You hear that uh, pressurization release? Love it. So now we told you a lot about what hydrogen is and how it's used, but we really didn't say why. Why, Patty? Why are we using hydrogen for stuff? There are so many benefits. As Matt mentioned earlier, there's over a thousand studies on the benefits of molecular hydrogen. Um, macular degeneration uh, for your muscles to help release the, um, what is it called, lactic acid, um, to reduce oxidative stress allowing your body to function better and better against diseases. Uh, it, it helps against um, protect the cells against damage caused from free radicals. Molecular hydrogen, and it's, it's, it's the simplest molecule in the universe. It's so tiny, but, and it's colorless, odorless, and tasteless. As Matt said, it's mostly yeah. a gas, but now we've got these tablet forms that grow into what we need it to be for our bodies. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to butt in for just a second sure. because we have to do the disclaimer. Yes. Right? We are not doctors. No. Okay. I'm a nutritionist. I'm a certified nutritionist. Patty is, is well studied in all sorts of uh, other areas, but um, we're not going to attempt to diagnose, uh, treat, cure, anything here. However, we will tell you what we've read in all the studies and just repeat what you can find online. And so. from our own experiences, because we've both been taking these products at least for five years. Um, and the water, 
bottles we just started with, which are a blessing. Um, the biomedical world is growing so much um, and coming up with new and improved health benefits for us. Um, in fact, one of the things I just did this last week was frequency uh, on, on healing, frequency healing. And it was amazing what I learned about that, but that's another podcast we'll do. But right now we're going to stick to molecular hydrogen. Yes. Um, the therapeutic benefits, um, overall health is just improved by so much. It can help reduce your fatigue, your cognitive function, boost your metabolism, and enhance your mood. Who doesn't need their mood enhanced? I know I do once in a while. Uh, with the way our world is today, um, we all need that positivity boost and, and just to keep us going through, from day to day. Um, it's a, with regular consumption, it can help protect against chronic disease and illness and our aging process. What else, Matt? What do you think? What else we can uh, oh, add to this? Oh, um, gosh. Uh, let's say my top four. Uh, gut health, mm. hydrogen can help with gut health. It can help with brain health, your focus, your cognitive uh, ability, like Patty was saying. Uh, it helps with uh, your digestion. So going along with the gut health and digestion, slightly different topics there. And, and believe it or not, it helps with your skin health, especially if you're drinking a lot more water and hydrogenated water. Uh, but the tablet form is great. And as Patty said, take that with water, you get a good combination. And since Matt mentioned water, um, one of the main things with our DNA testing is hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. You can't give your body enough water. Um, one of the things, again, water is needed for your transport system, and it helps to interact with every molecule of your body. Yeah. So I'll give you, for instance, when you take vitamin D, Vitamin D needs hydrogen um, and collagen actually to transport from one organ to the next. So if you're not, and K2, so if you're not getting your vitamin D with K2, putting the hydrogen in your body and getting that water in there, that, that vitamin D is not going to give you all the absorption um, and the benefits that you need from it. Uh, it's not going to get to your bones as it needs to do. Um, research suggests that vitamin D helps to increase the amount of hydrogen in our bodies. See, there yes. you go. There, there's so much interaction going on with the nutrition and supplements that we put into our bodies that um, you're missing out if you don't know what nutrition you <clears throat> need and how much you need and the type you need. Without that, you're just throwing stuff right. into your body and wasting money. Well, most, most Americans, for starters, and when I say most, I mean about 90% of Americans are vitamin D deficient. And that's because we don't get enough sunlight. We don't get enough uh, sun on our face for 15 minutes a day. Those of us who live in the north, like, you know, Patty in Maine and, and me in New Hampshire, uh, we've got six months of winter where we're not out there getting a tan. Um, and, and we're covering up in sunscreen and we're covering, we're just covering and eliminating the sun from our lives, which produces natural vitamin D. Uh, it's, um, that's the best form. But as Patty was also saying, vitamin D and hydrogen together, it is so hard to just talk about hydrogen when our entire body is a system and all these things work synergistically. So, you know, pardon us if we, we just go off on a tangent a little bit as we go along here. Because it all comes together in the yeah. end. It's that round circle of life, you know? Um, one of the other things about, uh, I mentioned molecular hydrogen, um, again, it affects a wide variety of our human body. It's associated with its ability to mediate the oxidative stress. So what is oxidative stress? Yeah. It's caused by imbalances between reactive, ox reactive oxygen species, which is ROS, such as superoxide and hydroxyl radicals. What is a free radical, Matt? Do you, can you explain that for yeah, them? This is where it's going to get technical. <laughs> Keep it simple. <laughs> We've been having fun so far. Now it's back to biology and chemistry <laughs> class. <laughs> so That's life. <laughs> free radicals, um, uh, the easiest way I can explain it is it, it's the floating garbage in your system. Hmm. Great way to put it. Okay, and that floating garbage interferes with normal processes unless your body has a way of getting rid of it. If it can't get rid of it, 
then the oxidative stress in the free radicals causes inflammation. And the inflammation is honestly at the root of almost every disease you can name. Yeah, and if we don't have an, a, a very strong antioxidant system to help fight that inflammation, it, guess what? It causes diseases and we get sicker instead of better. And then we end up on medications, which really kind of start the downhill slide um, right. of making us sicker. So think about for a moment. I mean, I, I don't, I'm not exactly sure where Patty's going to go with this, but think about inflammation for a moment like a balloon. And I wish I had a balloon as a, as a visual to work with today. But you know, you know your party balloon and you know, 10 inch balloon, uh, you, it, every cell in your body is like a balloon. And your cells uh, eat and create waste and need to eliminate waste just like your entire body does. We eat, we poop, you know, uh, we're not going to get too much more <laughs> detail than that. Uh, what would happen if you couldn't poop? What would happen if you were constipated, right? The same thing happens at the cellular level, and that's what inflammation really is at its most simple form, is your cells are not able to eliminate waste, so they fill up and they become inflamed. Uh, and it, we, we'll talk a little bit more about how hydrogen helps to reduce that inflammation in just a bit. Yeah, and uh, to touch on that, um, when you're not clearing that bowel through your intestinal tract, you end up with pockets, diverticulitis, diverticuli, and mm -hmm. the pockets can burst. And you've probably heard of leaky gut. Well, when those pockets burst, that's where that leaky gut happens. You're releasing all those toxins that are supposed to stay in your intestinal tract to come out the other end. They end up leaking into your body, causing so much damage and illness to your body. So it's so important for you to have gut health um, that I, I can't, we can't stress that enough. Gut health is so important. Gut, for, gut health for your brain, gut health for everything. Um, and and we'll, we're, we don't want to take that horse <laughs> off on a tangent. Now, you have a great book, and you're using the outline from the book to follow along. I don't want to interrupt that too no, badly. No, no. I'm, I'm the free radical in the group here. <laughs> <laughs> so when you're ready to talk about how hydrogen helps your, your cells eliminate the, the garbage. Do that. Um, go ahead. Go know. there now. I, I, don't, I don't want to get ahead of it or nope, anything. No, you're there. Okay. All right. So I'm going to get a little bit technical. In your cells, there is a protein. The protein is called NRF2, right? And I don't remember exactly the long terminology. It's NRF2. In any case, that protein is responsible for trash collection and elimination. All right? And again, I'm going to try to keep this in uh, like high school terminology here. Uh, normally, if we were surviving on an all organic, heavy fruits and vegetables diet, you know, hunter gatherer style diet, where we're eating everything all natural, um, okay. I'm just going to, I'm just going to say it, you know, you, whether or not you, you're spiritual, God created plants and, and fruits and vegetables for us in order for, uh, to work with our body and do what it, what they need to do. And part of that is organic fruits and vegetables turn on the NRF2 protein. It sits there until something turns it on. And that's where it would normally happen. But let's be honest, how many of us are cooking three meals a day, eating all organic and heavy on the fruits and vegetables? I mean, like like one percent maybe in the United mm -hmm. States and you know in Canada, and you may as well include most of the developed world, right? Um, we're we're mostly eating garbage. We're eating processed foods um, and other things, which which act in exactly the opposite form. They cause garbage buildup. They cause inflammation. So if we were eating a hundred percent organic, our body would naturally be not be inflamed, be eliminating properly. We'd be digesting, eliminating, have no issues whatsoever. We're not. Hydrogen bypasses that process a little bit. It turns on the NRF2 protein, allowing the cells to eliminate and reducing inflammation. It's just quicker, faster, and still all natural. Um, but that's, and, and let me caution you, that's not to say you can go to the drive through and eat garbage three meals a day and expect to have great results by having hydrogen. It's going to help, but mm, you, we, like we say in the fitness world, you can't exercise away a bad diet. <laughs> no, but it does help to keep it, 
keep all that garbage moving through your body so it does eliminate properly. Yes. So Matt, Matt mentioned about um, reducing, reducing inflammation in our bowel. So uh, there is a study uh, from 2018 by Yang and Wang that's in my book. Matt mentioned I have an ebook on, uh, it's called the, uh, the Powers of Molecular Hydrogen, The Hidden Powers of Molecular Hydrogen. And it talks about um, how the findings uh, demonstrated that only reduced inflammation, um, it not only reduces inflammation, but also prevents apoptosis uh, by offering a uh, promise to potential treatment for inflammatory bowel disease. Um, there's also a study by Lee and Ma in 2018 that uh, it helps with treating uh, ischemic brain injury uh, which was investigated by that uh, study. So uh, there's a bunch of studies listed in my book, and we'll be glad to send you a free copy of it if you want to message us afterwards. Um, let's see, in oh, excuse me, in continuing on to give you a little bit more information, um, how about energy molecules and ATP? Are you familiar with how the oh, ATP works? I'm going to let you take that one. Um, so that kind of goes along with uh, improving our cognitive function. Um, as bad as um, cognitivity, memory loss, um, without having to say the words, the Alzheimer's and dementias that are kicking in, uh, there is hope for those. Uh, diseases and they are diseases that if people could understand what is missing in their body to help repair that dna strand um some of those might decline and um, again we are not doctors and we don't claim to be but this is from the studies that we have done and i have written in my book from the um the research that i've done well, if you think about it it it's common sense yeah. If your cells are functioning <laughs> properly, you have fewer health problems, including uh, ones that we mentioned. Uh, and your cognitive health improves as well when you're not storing garbage in your brain. Uh, so, you know, it's just common sense. Yeah. And then we are born with um, genes that uh, keep us <clears throat> other than healthy. How's that? So when you can figure out what those genes are and how to properly feed them to help make them stronger uh, and relieve some of the damage, that is where I come in. But let's get back to the molecular hydrogen and reducing inflammation, the oxidative stress, and um, mitochondrial function. Well, okay. that goes back to the NRF2 protein and uh, how that all you know, it helps keep the cells clean, active, and, and functioning correctly. Okay. Did we say what oxidative stress was? I think we kind of We talked about that. that with free radicals and all that. Yeah. But what happens um, when you get oxidative stress, it's kind <clears> of <throat> like um, you have a metal pipe. And as the oxidation in the air attacks that metal, the metal starts to break down. While well, oxidative stress on our cells makes our cells rough edges instead of round smooth edges and when when our cells duplicate every 120 days they duplicate as rough damaged cells and oxidated cells not fresh clean cells right. so you're duplicating um unhealthiness when when uh, you've got a lot of oxidative stress in your body well, magnify that to the, the human scale if you are unhealthy Oh, I'm going to get in trouble with this. If you are unhealthy and then you're creating children while you're unhealthy, what are you passing on? Unhealthy cells. And that's where people say, oh, you know, it's, it's just genetic. It's, it's in the family. Well, most of what's in the family is our eating habits and our exercise habits. Mm -hmm. Right? True. That we pass those on. And we do it through our genes as well. Absolutely. We sure do. Uh, let's see. Um... Doctors, network marketers, entrepreneurs, um, those of us who go to the gym, have our personal trainers, we all want you to understand the importance of health and wellness and, and just being well and the need for safe and effective ways to naturally increase your health. 
Um, and molecular hydrogen is just one of the ways that helps. Not that I want to cover my face, but it's one of the ways that <laughs> helps you to, to become stronger, uh, become a better you. Um, there are so many things in the world that cause side effects. We t Matt talked about um, organic foods. Why do we want to eat organic and, and, and just not anything grown from all of the farms? You want to touch on that? Ooh, yeah, uh, sure. Uh, I, I skipped over that because I just assumed it was common sense, but not everybody understands that because they don't study nutrition like we do. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. No, that's um, okay. uh, things that should be obvious, but, but are not. Organic simply means that uh, foods are grown in their natural form without the use of chemical fertilizers, pesticides, and herbicides. Uh, so that, and that's different from um, non-GMO, right? Which means uh, that, oh, let me pause on that. So organic means that fruit, uh, foods are grown in their natural form. Uh, so like uh, grass-fed beef, difference between grass-fed beef and what's called conventionally raised beef is conventionally raised beef is fed antibiotics, hormones, steroids, um, and other, you know, things that you wouldn't want passed on to you while you're eating it. Whereas grass fed is eating its natural food source uh, and hopefully not being injected with all sorts of chemicals. Uh, so same thing with fruits and vegetables that are uh, naturally grown. They're organic, meaning they're not sprayed with herbicides, pesticides, and uh, uh, chemical fertilizers. They're fertilized naturally. So those are, those are uh, healthier for you because if you're eating fruits and vegetables and meats that have uh, chemicals added to them, then those chemicals are something in, that your body looks at and has to fight and causes inflammation and other problems, causes the breakdown of different organs in, in harsh conditions. So why would you want your body to be trying to digest food at the same time it's trying to fight what's on the food, right? That just doesn't make any sense. No, it doesn't. Um, we want to try to keep this to 30 minutes. So um, one of the other things, um, medications, uh, are there uh, medication interactions that can occur uh, with supplementation? That's an affirmative. Yes. So, this is where the benefit of knowing your uh, your DNA blueprint helps because if you are taking, um, for instance, anticoagulants or anti-inflammatory uh, agents, there can be interactions where those will not function properly if you are putting the wrong type of, type of supplements into your body. So know that there can be some uh, interactions if your doctor is not aware of your DNA blueprint and what's going on. Excellent point. And where we're talking about hydrogen, there are no known side effects to taking hydrogen. However, how it interacts with your medication may be something, or certainly needs to be something to discuss with your physician. Uh, in particular, if you're doing uh, popular, uh, popular anticoagulants like Coumadin and so forth. Mm -hmm. um, and in my book, we, I talk about that as well. So um, again, grab a copy of the book and, and uh, read a little bit more about it. Um, so how can people get a copy of your book? So you can, um, after, we're going to post this on Facebook, of course, so, and wherever else. Um, just reach out to Matt Randall. Uh, he's at mattrandall.com. Um, we're both on Facebook. I'm Patty Latch Daigle, D A I G L E. That's P A T T Y L A C H D A I G L E. Um, reach out to us there. Send us a private message. Um, if you know us, give us a call for sure. We'd love to chat with you. Um, I have a calendar. I'm sure Matt has a calendar that you can get on both of yep. our calendars and chat with us a little bit more. Um, and if one more note, if you are pregnant or uh, breastfeeding, lactating, consult with your physician before taking uh, hydrogen-rich water. Um, not that it's going to help. It probably will help baby and you. But it's just, again, just a note that we want to mention.
That's a, a warning that's on everything. Yep. Basically, if you're pregnant, talk with your doctor before breathing. Exactly. Um, <laughs> does molecular hydrogen have any back, any effects on vaccine damage? Um, it may help the help to reduce the risk of damage that are of the, to the cells. But uh, again, we are not the physicians. Just there are notes in here about that. Um, I think with that, Matt, we've done our thirty yeah. minutes and. Um, one of the things, last I'll leave you with, if you don't have a good holistic doctor, um, highly recommend one. Um, and if you need to contact us about that, we've got connections and can find probably find one for you where you live. Um, if it weren't for my three holistic docs, I personally don't know where I'd be today. Um, and Matt as well, because yeah. it was the nutrition that was created by um, a holistic doc that um, has helped change our world around. Definitely. So Patty Lach, Lach Daigle, I got to get that one right, on Facebook and go to mattrandall.com where you can book a free 15-minute nutrition consultation with me. Okay. Thank you for joining us today. Have a great day. Bye-bye.